I want to discuss um, inverters and what they do and three choices that we've got when we're talking about inverters with a solar system. So just to simplify, basically what is happening with a solar system is that you have panels. These produce DC electricity. These run to an inverter, which converts from DC to AC current. AC is what we use inside our houses. Um, and then that goes into uh, your supply. So there's three types of, or three scenarios. One is what we call a string inverter. Second is called string optimized. And the third is what's called a micro inverter. So with a string inverter, let's say we were looking at a uh, reasonable size system, uh, 10 kilowatts or thereabouts. You might have an inverter. There are two inputs into this, which are called MPPTs. And with each you can have two independent strings. There are actually more ways to do this. You can have multiple, multiple strings and so forth. But just to keep it simple, two independent uh, strings. Power flows uh, is cabled up and flat flows along here into this particular MPPT. If you've got something that happens, so shading or bird poo, um, and shading is the biggest one. It can be from trees or it can be from antennas or overhead wires or whatever. But shade kills solar. It's the, it's the natural enemy. So basically, if you've got something that impacts a couple of panels, they actually set the, the bar for what is flowing through the system. It's like stepping on a hose pipe. It reduces the flow all the way along. So this is one of the constraints of a string inverter system. They make sense when you've got a nice clear roof, no shading, but there's other factors like even bird poo um, will cause this, uh, this to be uh, suboptimal. The next option is what are called optimizers. There's two systems that are popular. One is called Solar Edge uh, and there's another called Tigo. So what these do, there's an, it's an electrical device on the back of each panel, which means that these panels become somewhat electrically independent of each other. Anything that's affecting this one shouldn't affect this one. They still have some of the same constraints of a, uh, for system design in terms of string lengths and minimum inputs into these uh, channels, for example, but they really do an amazing job of optimizing each panel. Um, some of them have other benefits. Solar Edge, for example, has uh, incredible monitoring uh, of the system well above what, it, what almost any string inverter will have. The third option is called a microinverter, um, which actually converts from DC to AC at the panel level. So the back of each panel is a microinverter. This is one. Um, there's only one company that makes these called Enphase. Uh, there's been another company, but Enphase bought them. Um, so these are basically the creme de la creme of how to put together a solar system. Every panel is individually optimized. Um, you will typically get a higher output of any system of 15% or more compared to a string uh, or an optimized system. They are more expensive, but uh, it will pay for itself over time. So these are quite an amazing unit. Uh, there are zero moving parts in this. Um, it has a 20 plus year lifespan. It has a 10 year warranty. And once they're made, they're actually filled with uh, epoxy or polymer. So they're, they're really quite dense and heavy. Um, but they've got incredible temperature resistance and so forth. So I really like microinverters, um, and I think that for people who are looking for a premium system, it's a really great way to go. You're going to get the best that is possible.
The monitoring that comes off these uh, is also of very good quality um, and you can choose a base level system monitoring um, or a panel by panel monitoring. Um, so panel by panel monitoring is for the super geeky but you can actually see what every panel is doing uh, at any given time. Um, if you were looking at putting batteries on later, uh, and I'll discuss monitoring separately, but um, not just monitoring what the system is doing, but also your household consumption. So straight out of the box, you get that with uh, Enphase. So there's a, an app, and you can see it on your computer. The app is called Enlighten, and it will let you see both your household consumption as well as the solar production. So you can look at that, we can look at that over time and uh, figure out whether or not batteries are going to be viable for you. Anyway, those are the three options. String inverters, optimized string inverters and micro inverters. So when we're talking about equipment, uh, we'll probably suggest one of these uh, different sets of technology for your place. Uh, and of course, we're always happy to talk about what you might have seen or been offered uh, separately in the market. So that's a common occurrence that you would have been offered something and you'll say, hey, someone has just suggested Solar Edge. Is that good for me? And we can help you figure out whether or not that is the right choice. Thanks.